best offensive rebounding team so far through the early part of the season in the G League. Carter turns it over as it's taken away by Ani Bogu. And that time, that was Kevin Fahey that called that foul on him. He asked us, and we said, we don't know who those are, but we know uh, Jenna Schroeder is, the, uh, is, our, is our female referee. Or John, as we see one right here, as they get it inside, and Ani Bogu puts that one in. Guys that can shoot the rock, but have been absolutely freezing cold coming into tonight. Wide open there is Ani Bogu. Hannah's on the back door. Oh, good block by Anabogu. That was a fantastic block. He'll try a jumper and hits that. Same thing with Carter and really good with both. They are both 6'2", listed at 6'2", but they're both really good rebounders. They both average five rebounds per game, also by 10. They led for the majority of this. Alizé Johnson sets up Anibogu, and he will get the dunk. Always here to see your son. Play. Hicks looks inside. That was a hook right there. He hooked around more with that hand. E.K. Anibogu, they've got 20 and 19. Well, our Japanese media contingent that's usually here is not here tonight, and they are missing you to putting on a show. Hornbeak, give and go. Didn't get it back, though. Instead, it's E.K. Anibogu with the bucket. Two points as Rob Gray leads that one short. Offensive rebound. Gray again attacking and putting it in against Doral Moore. So 8 of 27, 29.6% for Fort Wayne. Where would they be without Hornbeat tonight from the three point line? Look out below as. For the Mad Ants, that's 15 fast break points for them this half. And McGrew cannot get anything to go.